I got my power pole down Stuck in the mud in the bottom of the lake Sitting so still in the wind and the waves Could even be a hurricane I got my power pole down I'm gonna make another dead on pinpoint gas Catch myself a big old bass And another one after that Oh yeah, I got my power pole down Hi guys, Rick McHale from the Bass College. I'm out here on Silver Lake early this morning. Uh, the fog is just starting to lift. I'm going to see whether or not what these uh, bass are doing. We're in the fall transition. Uh, I'm going to check uh, along this edge right here because it goes from about three feet of water right down to 20. And I'm going to work the edge and I'm going to see whether or not they're up on the top or they're down into the deeper hole. And then I'm going to go way down and I know a spot that's got about two feet of water all the way around. A uh, spot that's about the size of a football field that's possibly about 15 feet deep. So we're gonna take a ride down here and see whether or not we can catch some fish. Something. Hey guys, first cast of the day. Just a little guy. Down now. And uh, it's actually working to bait a little fast. Uh, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to throw out, we're going to have to figure out what these bass want. I'm throwing the rattle trap, half ounce, uh, black, gold, and uh, sometimes I got three different retrieves I use, but that one I was kind of burning it. So let's see what they want. Like I said, guys, I like to uh, do a couple different retrieves. This one I like to uh, burn it like I'm doing here, pull a little bit, feel them rattles, keep it moving. That's basically how I caught that last one. Okay. The other retrieve I like to use in these rattle traps, I let it sit there for a second and I pull up the slack. And I reel back, and I basically kill it, I'm dead sticking it. Get them rattles going, and I kill it. Now that's one of Kevin Van Dam's favorite ways to fish the rattle trap. So what I'll do this morning is I'm going to throw all three ways. Okay, my third way is to just let it sink. I just let that rattle trap sink. And I left. Reel down the slack. Left. Kind of pulling it off bottom. I use this a lot when I'm fishing the weed. Not really in the open water. Okay, guys, I wanted to let you see what I was doing here. I'm hoping you can see this behind me. Uh, this, we're in the middle of the canal. Uh, you've got the stumps, all the mud right up uh, out of the water. This water's down at least five feet or more. It's been drawn down. Uh, all around there is probably a foot, two feet of water at the tops. And right behind me, as we swing around, it's about the size of a football field. And it's about, I'm going to say, uh, anywhere between 10 and 15 feet deep. And then it goes right back up onto into, uh, two feet of water. I'm going to uh, see if these fish have come down and staged up in this deep water. Uh, I'm going to try the deep water first and then I'm going to work my way back into the shallower water to see if that's where the fish are going to be hanging out today. Uh, as, as the winter comes on, these fish will pull right down into these deep holes. And they, they usually winter right there. You can come in here with, uh, if you can get in here uh, in November, maybe throw a tube or something down there. You can really do a number. But let's take a look and see whether or not where these fish are this morning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go right down the middle. I'm going to fan cast on each side. I'm going to, I'm going to hit probably 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and go right down through the middle. It's only the size of a football field. See if we have any active fish. And then I'll slow down. Here we go. Okay, we've got a fish on. Look a decent one. A couple pounds. And 15 feet of water. Nice fish. Nice fish. Might be bigger than I thought.
So I just caught that in the deep uh, pocket here, throwing the rattle trap. I was uh, throwing up towards the banks, bringing it back down into the uh, deep hole. Sure enough, this guy's already in there uh, trying to win our eye, win our up here. Yeah, nice, nice fish. Hey guys, I'm hooked up. I actually got down here in about two feet of water and decided to throw the uh, buzz bait across the top. Uh, sure enough, caught a fish and look, it's on the trailer hook. I always want to have them trailer hooks on the uh, buzz baits. Not a big fish, but it was fun to catch. And we're gonna we're gonna throw this buzz bait across this little flat here. In two feet of water and see if anything's up in here besides this uh, little guy. Hey guys, it's just hooked up in the rattle trap again. Oh, it's a decent fish, a small fish. It doesn't come up. Ah, uh, just like, not too big. Pound fish. Really kind of struggling here today. We're catching a lot of these one pound fish. I hadn't filmed very many of them. Uh, throwing the rattle trap, chatterbait, uh, the, uh, the buzz bait. Actually caught two or three of these fish, but they were the small ones. So, what I've done is I've come back out into the deeper water and I'm gonna cover some ground here and see whether or not I can pick up a big one. Let's see what happens. Got another one here. This is all I've been able to catch, besides that one three pounder. And this one's even about three quarters of a pound. But we're gonna keep at it. Let's see if we can catch a big one. Keep at it. Hey guys, I'm hooked up. I, uh, I changed up to a uh, crankbait. About third cast, I picked one up. I'm not sure how big the fish is. That's a little bit better. A couple pounds, anyhow. A lot of weeds here, so. I actually, I actually don't have braid. I have this uh, nano uh, line on here. Seems to work pretty well for me. And uh, it's a little better fish. So I'm going to go down the shore here. here. Uh, it's uh, weeds about, I'm going to say 50 yards offshore. I'm in between the deep and the weeds and the shore here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw out over the weeds and pull back through. And first cast, I caught that one, so let's try it again. Yeah, it's a, hit it, looks a little better, you know, still a, it's a little schooler, school fish, a pound and a half, yeah, it's a little better, I'd be closer to, what I was talking about. People are out uh, getting their boats all put away, uh, getting ready for hunting season, and usually this time of year these fish will turn on. So Nellie likes it, and uh, let's see if we can get another one. I know there's some big fish around. Let's see if we can find one. Hey guys, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I had a great time. I caught probably about 20 of them smaller fish. I didn't put them all on video. You know, the idea is to come out and have a good time, and that's exactly what I did. 
I learned something and that will make me a better fisherman the next time out. So the next time, this is Rhett McHale from the Bass College. I'll see you out on the water. Stay.